Hey YouTube, Shukwin Shinobi here with an unboxing of the Pokemon Trading Card Game XY Breakthrough Elite Trainer Box Mega Mewtwo X Edition. Um, much like uh, in XY when we had a Xerneas one and an Avolto one, and with Primal Clash when we had a Primal Ground and a Primal Kyogre one, um, Breakthrough gives us two more Elite Trainer Boxes, one featuring Mega Mewtwo X and one featuring Mega Mewtwo Y. So this is the Mega Mewtwo X version. It is a nice purple color. And everything inside is all purpley and majestic. Um, just like all the other Elite Trainer boxes, you have eight booster packs of that set. So we have eight breakthrough packs to take a look at. 65 card sleeves featuring Mega Mewtwo X. 45 trainer cards, or energy cards, a couple of each type. A player's guide that shows off um, breakthrough cards, and we'll take a look at that. Uh, six damage counter die. These are your little solid ones. And one competitive legal coin flip die. That's your big clear one. And we'll take a look at those. Two acrylic condition markers, poison and burn. I got a lot of them by now. And of course the box and a code card which um, unlocks the, the sleeves and I think a deck box maybe um, to, to use on a Pokemon training card game online. So, um, like all trainer boxes, this does retail for $39.99 at most major retailers, but um, you can get them a little bit cheaper on card shops um, like Collector's Cache, Troll and Toad, and the like. But of course, then you have to pay for shipping. So it's really up to whether you're already placing an order or not. <laughs> uh, but without further ado, let's go ahead and uh, get this open and take a look. Okie dokie, so let's go ahead and move the box over a little bit. Here is the player's guy fishing Mega Mewtwo X on the cover. I assume the contents are pretty much going to be the same no matter what. Um, but just the cover will be a little bit different depending on which Elite Trainer box you pick up. Uh, welcome to the AX Trader Box. So, um, it, it gives a nice little overview of the Break Evolution mechanic, which I've described a couple of times. But for those that don't know, Break Evolution is a new mechanic. So, Raichu will Mega or Break Evolve rather into Raichu Break. It goes right on top of the card. Hopefully, we get another one to take a look at, but much like down there. So, it, re it retains its uh, previous attacks, weakness, retreat costs, uh, resistance, and all that fun stuff. But gain some new HP and new abilities or new attacks, which is it's kind of neat. Unfortunately, there's not a whole lot of support for them yet, so they kind of suck. But um, it's a fun mechanic for sure that I think will um, spin the game around a little bit once uh, they start getting some more support. Uh, Mega Mewtwo EX. <laughs> Just take a look at how many there are. Uh, there's so many Mega Mewtwo's. Uh, and this, there's, there's six, I think. Six Mega Mewtwo's all together. Uh, no, there's four Mega Mewtwo's and I think four Mewtwo's. I think there's eight all together. I have no idea, but there's a lot of Mewtwo's in this set, let me tell you. Uh, then you have Mega Houndoom, Mega Glalie, um, both of which I really do want to play. Uh, though Mega Glalie, I could just kind of want to play normal Glalie. Uh, Raikou is actually a pretty cool Pokemon. Hopefully we get some of him. I got a lot of him online. I opened some packs the other day and, man, I was just getting Raikou's up the booty. Uh, Haxorus. Uh, we actually got a Haxorus in one of our previous unboxings. Parallel City is a new cool stadium, which has different effects depending on which side is facing you, which is really cool. So again, Choices, and Giovanni Scheme is another card that gives you choices, as is Bridget. So the, the theme here uh, is, is Choices on this set. Um, special Energy, Rainbow is back. Not that Rainbow went anywhere, but it's got reprinted yet again. And uh, Burning Energy is a really cool Fire-type Special Energy that uh, lets uh, the attacking Pokemon discard it, and it immediately comes back, which is really cool. And then, of course, as always with these little booklets, you get a full list of all of the cards in this set, including the two secrets. We have a Mewtwo EX in both that have various Pokemon on them that represent the set. So like I said, there's one, two, three, four. They're normal prints. So five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There is ten different Mewtwo's in this set uh, between uh, Mewtwo and Mega Mewtwo. So have at Mewtwo. <laughs> Uh, Burning Spark and Night Striker are two theme decks, and we'll take a look at that, um, or have taken a look at that, depending on the order of these videos go up. So, that about does it for the little bookie book. And on to the actual box. So, we take off the lid and get rid of all this. There's so much stuff in these boxes. Alright, so everything's kind of all over the place. Uh, the code card is right there. I don't want to show it to everyone. Uh, here's the code card for TCG Online. Like I said, I think it gives you the sleeves in a deck box or something like that. I know it gives you the sleeves at the very least. Here is the uh, the die. And dice or whatever. 
Um, they're a lot bluer than I thought they were going to be. I thought they were going to be very purple. They're just actually kind of closer to a sort of blue periwinkle-esque color. Um, but the periwinkle's a lot lighter. I don't know what I'm trying to get to. Indigo? Maybe? I don't know. But uh, you have the sleeves there with the set symbol on there, which admittedly is a pretty neat set symbol. I like that a whole lot. So you have the the die right there. Dice, I don't know what the word is. The burn marker and the poison marker, uh, which I don't think I've really changed at all since you started. So you have those. You have your sleeves with Mega Mewtwo X on them. So pretty neat. Um, I got a lot of these sleeves now, and I'm afraid to use them because I don't want to wreck them. But I collect sleeves, I guess, now. That's the thing. Your 45 energy cards uh, right here. And all oh, the booster packs. And, of course, we have four dividers for organizing our cards. So if you want to put, like, fire types here in front and then water in the back and so on and so forth, um, you got some dividers to organize your cards. So let's go ahead and dump everything back in there and set all this aside and take a look at our booster pack. So we have eight booster packs of XY Breakthrough. Two, four, six, eight. Okay, they can count this time. And my last one, I got a bonus pack. Fortunately, we did not get a bonus pack for this one, but I digress. Let's go ahead and uh, just uh, just tear right into these. Just like just savage our way through them. Not quite. I don't want to do that. But move the code card. Move those. Flip that around. Alrighty. So let's go ahead and start this with a Ralts, a Skidoo, Miss Mischievous, Mischievous, whatever you want to say. It's mischievous, I think. Swablu. Flebebe. What's in the sky? It's a bird. It's a plane. It's, I have no idea. Uh, Bridget, uh, that card I was talking about. Search it out for a basic uh, Pokemon EX or uh, three basic uh, Pokemon. Your choice. Put them right onto your bench. So it has its perks. And Giovanni's Scheme, I keep getting these two cards together. It's really weird. Uh, and like I said, Geomoney Scheme is a card that lets you choose one of these effects, draw cards, so you have five cards in your hand, or during this turn, your opponent's sub Pokemon, or your, uh, wow, your opponent, your, hmm, your Pokemon's attacks do 20 more damage to the opponent's Pokemon. Whatever, I'm done. Uh, Ursaring, a Grand Bull, and ooh, a Mammoth Swine, we got another Mammoth Swine. I just opened up a Mammoth Swine like not even 10 minutes ago in one of my other recordings, but. Uh, thick fat, uh, any damage done to Mammoth Swine by fire types and water types is reduced by 30, which is really cool. And Primordial Boom for 80 plus. If you have a stadium, it does 40 more damage. If your opponent has a stadium, it heals 40 damage. So, which is really cool. Plus, it's always nice to start off with a hollow. Because, like I said, hollows are actually pretty rare now. Because EXs are easier to get. So, you take some and you, and you give some, or you, you get some, or something. I don't know how the saying goes. But moving along to pack numero two, you have uh, Mistress, Hoot Hoot, Proclaim the Night. Your opponent can't play item cards. Oh no, I'm dead. Uh, it's, it's like it's like the uh, Seismitoad Light version. Uh, Cyndaquil, Spritzy, Remoraid, Floatstone, a very nice uh, tool card that got reprinted in this set. Opponents retreat, uh, your, the, uh, the, 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 the Pokemon, I keep still wanting to say opponent when I meant Pokemon, uh, is attached to, uh, has free retreat. So it's super, super good in a lot of decks. Um, Houndoom Spirit Link, two Mega Evolved them Houndooms, a Floet, Flebebe to go with the Floet, and a Parasect. Colorful spores. Choose three of, your po three of your Pokemon for each of those Pokemon. Search your deck for a different type of basic energy. And attach it to that Pokemon. Shuffle your deck afterwards. There's a lot of different, like, rainbow-esque energies going on here in these cards. X Scissor, flip a coin of heads, it's excess turning more damage. Very basic. Very, very basic. You are a basic Pokemon Parasect. But I digress. You're some mutant fungal abomination, so I guess. What, what, can, I, what can we expect from you? Parasect, you don't have a mind of your own. Anyway. <laughs> Cubone. Oh, a sad Cubone. I'm getting rid of it. Uh, Pikachu. Magnemite. Sparkling Induction. Oh. Inke. 
Chessman. Professor's Letter. Get two basic energy cards. Haunter has a really cool effect that confuses. Um, you may leave both active Pokemon confused when you evolve it. Plus, Poison Ring. Uh, it's uh, poison. You're, the defending Pokemon is poisoned. And uh, it can't retreat. So it kind of goes hand in hand with each other. Glalie Spirit Link. Mega Evolved and Glalie's. Assault Vest is a new uh, Pokemon Tool card. Any damage done to uh, the Pokemon this card is attached to by attacks from your opponent's Pokemon that has any special energy is reduced by 40. Uh, a really cool card in a lot of decks now because special energies are just used a lot. What can you say? So, Assault Vest is a pretty uh, nice tool to kind of tech into some decks. And our rare is a Hollow Vivion, or Vivillon as I always called it before the anime existed. Uh, energy color. Once during your turn, you may flip a coin of head, search your deck for a basic energy card and attach it to one of your Pokemon. Shuffle your deck, enter, uh, shuffle your deck afterwards. Doesn't have to be active, so that's kind of nice. Uh, sleep Powder, 60, your opponent's active Pokemon is now asleep. Very basic in attack, but the effect is kind of nice. Plus, I have a soft spot for Vivian after using one in my original Y playthrough. Uh, I kind of fell in love with it. I don't know why. It just it was really good to me. I know it shouldn't be, given the fact that it's just a basic bug, but I don't know. I like it. He's a, 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 a Vivian's cool. Skidoo. Noibat, look at that face. That face. Am I right? Swine up. Sleeping in the pillows just like my dogs. Uh, Ralts. Pansir. Stunfisk. Stun oh god, Stunfisk. Uh, Revenge can do 100 damage. Just FYI. <laughs> uh, Stunfisk. Stunfisk could be really awesome in, uh, in certain decks. Uh, Bridget. Once again, and Giovanni's scheme. What did I tell you? I keep getting the cards together. Like, Bridget and Giovanni are totally hooking up in Dayton. Because, sorry, Ash's mom. But uh, they're, they're totally Dayton because I keep getting them in packs together. Uh, Swablu is our reverse. And a Simipore. We got Whoopi Goldberg. Hooray. Whoopi. Whoopi for the block. No. We're, we're not doing Hollywood Squares references here. Let me tell you, my Pokemon videos have the best references in them. For show us. So we got Snova. Got an accent now. The the scared rufflet. I don't like this art. It's like too realistic, I think. I don't know. It just it terrifies me a bit. Scatterbug. Cacnea. <laughs> Cacnea's got swagger. YOLO swag. Snubble. I can't believe I said that. Uh, Printplup. Sandslash. Is he getting... Oh, that's just a giant mushroom. I thought he was getting stepped on by something. Poor Sandslash. Quilladin. A reverse Curlia. DDR Curlia. And Ukul and Noivern. Um, It's just a normal rare. Tuning. Shuffle your hand into your deck then draw a number of cards equal to the number of cards in your opponent's hand. Uh, which is kind of nice if they have a full hand. Air Slash. Uh, 120 damage. This card and energy attached to Pokemon. Again, very basic. But I just really like Noivern. I think it's a cool Pokemon. Um, we have, we're down to three packs, and nothing too thrilling yet, but we did get two hollows, so, uh, that is not all that bad. Oh, all these code cards being all flipped around and stuff, so really throwing me for a loop. Uh, we got Fennekin, just kind of laying in the bushes. Azora, walking on water. Flabebe, Vanillite. Zorua, a different one. This one's got a bow. This one's a pretty Zorua. Uh, Judge was a really cool card back in the Heart Gold Soul Silver era of cards. Uh, each player shuffles his or her hand into his or her deck and draws four cards. So it, it's kind of N-ish, except you're you're stuck at the four. There's no chance of a six. Um, but I can definitely see uh, like one Judge being slipped in almost every deck just for that hand disruption ability. Uh, we got a town map. Uh, turn all your prizes face up. Uh, this is a reprint. Buddy Buddy Rescue is a new uh, item card. Each player puts a Pokemon from his or her discard pile into his or her hand. Uh, so that's kind of nice. If a Shaman gets uh, knocked out or something, you can bring it back with Buddy Buddy Rescue. So it's not a bad card. I don't know if it's going to be played a lot. Yeah, I see that shiny card. We got a Snover, and boom, right off the bat, a card I really freaking wanted a Glalie EX. Um, I really want to play Glalie. I really, really do. 
Um, not for Ice Breath. Flip a coin of heads, your opponent's Pokemon's paralyzed. Whoopi Kaye. Uh, instant Freeze is 50, and if you have the same number of cards in your hand as your opponent, this does 100 more damage. Now, there is cards like um, Red Card, I think it's called. Red Card, which I think throws your opponent down to 4 or something like that. I forgot what the actual... Um, like actual text was. But you have that. You have things like Judge um, that you can play now. Uh, so th there's a lot of cards out there that um, that can kind of help in terms of limiting your opponent's hand so you can match them and make Instant Freeze do 150 damage, Muscle Ban 170. That is the sweet spot on a lot of EXs. So I think this has potential to be a really fun deck. Uh, so I really, really super want to play Glalie. So I'm really glad I got one. I'm up to two Glalies now. So I'm almost there. I'm almost there. I'm two Glalies away from, from my from my Glalie deck. So we'll see if I get there anytime soon. There's still a lot of promo sets to sift through. <laughs> uh, we got a Meowth, a Ghastly, LGM, Axu, Froakie, Ursaring, Fisherman, another old trainer that got reprinted. I don't remember the last time we had Fisherman legal. Was it E-Block? I don't remember. I'd have to check. But put four basic energy from your discard pile into your hand. So basically it's uh, two energy retrievals and one, but it's a supporter. So it's really up to your play style. But it's a really nice card for those energy burner decks. Magneton. Reverse Paris and a Vanalux. I'm sorry about that pause. Uh, my mouth is really dry. But um, Deep Freeze and Frigid Breath. I wish I had a Vanalux right now because it's November and it was 78 degrees today. So I, I kind of wish I had a Vanalux to just make me cold. I really want to be cold. <laughs> I really want it cold. Uh, so alright, our last pack for this Elite Trainer Box. We got a Doduo with Doduo Delivery. I love that attack. Fennekin. Zorua. Flebebe. Vanalite. Cacturn. Seeking. Parallel City. That is that card that I was talking about when we were looking at the book. Um, Parallel City has this cool thing where you kind of put it down whatever direction you want. So you can either put it down like that or put it down like this. And so the uh, the text that's facing you when you're blue is choose which uh, way this card faces when you play it. This player with the arrow down can't have more than three benched Pokemon. So when you play it, if you have uh, five, you have to discard two of them. Whereas if the red is facing you, uh, any damage done by attacks from this uh, arrow down, player's grass, fire, or water Pokemon is reduced by 20. So if you're not playing any of those types, you just play that, you automatically limit your opponent down to three, and you get no harm done to you. So it really depends on what strategy you're going for. But um, it's a really interesting card, I think. We got a Simiseer as our reverse, and a Star Raptor as our rare. It's got Brave Bird. Of course it does. It's Star Raptor. Cyclone Slash. So pretty cool. Uh, so in this Elite Trainer Box, we got one normal EX and two Hollows, which is not the greatest. Uh, we're really looking for the full arts. But um, not bad at all. The EX was a Glalie, which is one I certainly wanted. And um, the Hollows are never a bad thing in the new ratio of packs. So on top of that, of course, as always, for $40, you get eight packs, which is automatically great. Because uh, you're looking at about $32 for those packs um, retail anyway. So for for eight additional dollars, you're getting these the, the the die. You're getting a pack of sleeves, which pretty much automatically covers your cost in the first place. Energy cards. If you're just starting, you have the acrylic markers. You have dividers. You're getting all sorts of stuff. Um, these are great, great, great deals. Plus, you get the cool box to store everything in. So um, I, I'm a huge advocate of these. I think they're great for both um, ex uh, experienced players and casual players and people just starting out. So no matter what level of Pokemon player you are, there, there's some advantage to these. And uh, if you manage to get it for $30, that's even better. Uh, but I, I think the $40 price tag, uh, $40 price tag is actually certainly fair for these. So really cool. 
Uh, so that about does it for this unboxing. If you like it, go ahead and blast that like button, comment below, and subscribe for more. So as always, thanks for watching, take care, and have a great one. Bye.